In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up a modal structural simulation to study the results of vibrations and mode shapes of a circular plate. I'll start by selecting a simulation process template from the study panel on the left here. I'm going to select the structural template. I need to import a geometry file, so I'll leave this set to the default. This option is enabled by default so that you can modify the imported geometry from the geometry task. I am running a pure structural simulation, so I won't select another physics type. I can either do a static analysis or a modal one. For this example, I'll select a modal analysis and accept the default selection for the options list. Typically, automatic contact detection is also performed. I will then apply the template and create the simulation process. The first thing that I'm asked to do is select a geometry. I'll select the file for this simple circular plate, a very common geometry used to demonstrate modal analysis. AIM loads the geometry and sets up a simulation process with typical default settings for geometry, mesh, physics, and results. While this is not a particularly time-consuming process, it is not interesting to view. So, I'll skip ahead. AIM has automatically created the physics solution process using default settings for the geometry, meshing, physics, and results. Here is a summary of all of the tasks, along with their status. All of these tasks are also available in the workflow window in a data flow diagram format. I'll click on physics in the workflow view to go into the physics solution task. You'll see that a lot of defaults have already been set up for me, material assignments, physics options, and solver options. If we take a look at the default solver settings for this analysis, we can see that we are requesting six eigenvalues by default. Now I am going to add a fixed support to the two faces of the plate, which makes the plate fully clamped at the ends. I'll first use the face selection filter to select the faces on the side of the plate. Then I'll add the support constraint from the context menu. The support constraint is now up to date and my physics solution is all set up. I'll solve now. Because the meshing task was also ready to go, it will be automatically updated first. I can see the progress on the bottom right hand side here. This simulation is now solved, so we can look at the resulting eigenvalues here on the output of the physics solution panel. You can see that we have the six modes generated by default. Now I can view my results. I'll click on the results task. I want to add the modes and animate them. I'll add a displacement magnitude contour result. I want the results for mode 1. Then I can evaluate to view the mode shape. I can click play to animate the displacement for this mode. Then I can view the animated displacement results for all of the modes. This concludes this demonstration of an end-to-end -end basic modal structural analysis in AIM.